Okay, we're good. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You guys did such a great job. Was it a difficult thing to wrap your, your head around that you were going to be in Lebanese snickets? Yeah, it was It was kind of scary. I've only worked in Australia before, so it was, it's definitely on a much smaller scale over there. So, yeah, it was frightening. The, pros the prospect of sort of becoming famous, I guess, is, is very scary. But, um, I mean, at the same time, it's, I could pass up the opportunity to do this movie because it's something that I've never seen before. It's extremely original. Yeah, it, so at the same time, it was very exciting. How about you, Liam? How'd you, I mean, you've been in lots of American films. So how'd you feel about this? Well, I mean, it was really a shock. It was kind of, it was kind of odd. And it, I don't think it hit me until the day we stopped filming. You know, you know, it, it was so, it's such a, it was such a surreal experience. You know, and the cast was, uh, the, the crew was so great. They really, it was like a family. You know, and it was just like a lot of fun to work, to go to work every day. You know, and I was. Really excited to do it. it. Must have been also very exciting to find out that you were going to work with Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is it like to work opposite this guy? Because I don't know how you guys kept a straight face through some of those scenes. We we did it yeah. through most of it. A lot of I mean, a lot of it's very clever editing because in a lot of his takes we were sort of in hysterics a lot of the time. So yeah, it it was very difficult. That was probably the hardest part of doing the whole film was trying to keep a straight face while he was in What about for you? What was one of the craziest things you did that just kept you on the floor? <laughs> well, um, there were a few things. I mean, one thing I can remember was like the first day we were filming with him. Um, he came down the stairs and we did this whole thing. And it was interesting because the first time we met, met Olaf in, in real life was the same time that we met him on camera. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of good because it was kind of this you know, sort of new experience. So he came down the thing and this was, and it wasn't scripted and he comes up. And he comes up to me and he starts like pulling my face and like and he asked me a question. I was supposed to say my lines for the question. And I was in hysteria. I just couldn't stop laughing. It took so long to get that. I can't even imagine. Yeah, he's a, he's one of a kind, that's for sure. Now, was there anything that was extremely challenging? Because there's a lot of special effects and stuff going on in this film. So talk a little bit about that with you on that. Well, physically challenging was probably the hurricane scene that was the most difficult. Um, I mean we had to be the house was on a slant like this. We had to be walking up with, with wind machines blowing, blowing us. And they were, I mean, they were strong winds. Um, things like fire hydrants, I mean, the, yeah, being rolled down past us and like steam blowing up through the floor. And plus I was holding the baby at the same time. Yeah. So that was probably the most physically demanding. How about for you? Yeah, um, well, I mean, I ended up in all the road stuff was pretty rough. Yeah. You did your own climbing? Yeah, it was a lot of uh, well, wires and wires. Okay, but that's okay. You know, we can allow it. Maybe when you're 18, we'll take the wires yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> please don't. Um, but yeah, it was. That was probably the most of it. The most of it. Yeah. Now, I what I first of all working with Meryl Streep as well must have been. Uh, oh my God, what were you guys thinking when you met her? That was. I mean, when I was a little bit more prepared to meet Jim because from the start, when I first auditioned, I knew he was excellent at doing it. But Meryl sort of came in halfway through. We, we didn't even know who at the start. We didn't know. So when I found out it was Meryl Streep, I was really, I don't know, kind of nervous to meet her. I mean, she has this presence about her, and I'm kind of a bit of a nerd. So I just thought, when I when I meet her, I'll, I'll make a video of myself or something. And I just thought I'd start gushing about how fabulous she was. But I, I sort of was like, tried to stay cool. But she, um, she's awesome. She didn't, after the first five minutes, I didn't feel uncomfortable the whole time of it because you can just talk to her, and she's just really cool. You must have been very excited to meet her. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, she's so she's so cool. And what I didn't really know is how funny she is. She's incredibly funny, you know, and very, very fast, very, very, uh, very funny. But the, but she's a very generous actress, mm -hmm. which is what's so great about, you know, working with her. She lets you kind of do your own thing. It's very, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Had you guys been fans of the books? Had you read them before you knew that you got the part? Or was it something that you just went out and read everything? Well, I had, I had actually read them before I knew them. So. I, I read the original script first, and then uh, after I did that, I, I read all the books pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, they're great books. My kids have read them, too. Just so I can't wait to take them. One of them came with me last night. We loved it. He's eight. So I think this is you know, the appeal. What do you think is the appeal of this? They're great stories. I think... The fact that they don't patronise children, they're not sort of, it's not a cheesy film that 
it's trying to be all happy and, and stuff for kids. I think it's sort of show it's not trying to dumb things down because kids are, are more intelligent than a lot of people, I presume. And um and also that it's that it, nothing has been like this before. I mean it's sort of got this Dickensian sort of dark gothic feel to it and at the same time it's it's hilarious because of Jim, so. Yeah, and very realistic I think. I mean not uh, life isn't always, you know, happy, you know, yeah, lucky, yeah. As, as you read in the letter at the Film. What the parents say is so true that really all you have is family. I mean, did it make you think about your own family and stuff too? Or what? Well, I mean, yeah, because that, that's pretty much the message I think about this movie is that these kids overcome all this adversity and they're a family and they stay together even though there's all these crazy. I mean, if you think about it, the kids in this movie are the only sane people. You know, everyone else is just wildly out of place and these people, these kids are just there and they're the only ones who know what they're talking about. And it's, it's great because, like, whilst having a moral, it doesn't have, like, a cheesy ending. You know, you still know that terrible things are going to happen to these kids, but you know they're going to be okay. You know, but it's not, the ending isn't like, oh, our parents came back to life and we're great. You know? Exactly. Uh, so you guys ready for this big fan that's going to hit you? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, that, that, that's probably the, the downside of everything for me, because I don't want to do this to be famous. So I want to do this because I really love acting, but I, I just want to, I don't want to move to Hollywood or anything. I just want to stay back at home and go on and get out to it. And how are you handling it? I mean, a lot of kids know you. Good boy. Oh, you've been in a lot of stuff. Road to perdition, not too shabby. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, nothing anywhere near the day. So, you know, this is going to be, it's going to be pretty, pretty scary. I don't know what to say. But... Well, you're both pretty level-headed, good kids, and I think you can handle it really well. You've done a great job in this movie. And lovely to meet both of you. Nice Thank, to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with it.